Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on GT Sport showing you the highlights from round two of the FIA Manufacturers Championship. So yeah, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you do not miss any future videos. And yeah, let's get on with this video and then really enjoyable, insane race. I absolutely have to say this was super intense for me. Um, these are the type of races that I really do enjoy. So slot number three, split number two, we're not in top split. Just, side, just outside top split for this one. I think we were two drivers away from top split. But yeah, probably better for me at a combination I am not very good at. First two races of the day. First race was kind of a weird one. Didn't qualify very well. Didn't get any slipstream on my lap. Started at the back, driving on our own. Suddenly it all kicked off in the last few laps and we managed to gain like six or seven positions. Really fun. Second race was a bit static again. Finished around P13, I think something like that. Didn't qualify very well again. Didn't really get a good slipstream. This race managed to get an okay slipstream, not a particularly amazing lap in qualifying. I think it was only like a 27.5 or 6 or, or something like that, I can't remember, but it wasn't a very good lap. But luckily for me, it started me P2 and from the knowledge of the first two races, it did look like our race pace was pretty solid. It looked like we had reasonable race pace considering how bad I am at this track. And let's be honest, I am not very good at this track. It's not one of my favourites. It's not particularly good for me. However, came in pretty strong on fuel because we didn't need to fuel save and tyres also pretty strong however it did struggle on the uphill sections which you'll see during this race it had literally no power remember the Cayman got a 1% power nerf I think on a BOP not too long ago so on this type of hill here this is the kind of section of the track where it struggles you'll see the Hyundai behind even though I'm in the slipstream really catching me up here so you'll see I went two to the rear brake bias I managed to do four laps of practice before this with tyre wear on I managed to jump in before we went live on the stream and put the um, obviously put tyre wear on and figured out that it looked like we needed to go back two to the rear and I think we got that perfectly so we're in the slipstream of Theo in front of us now one thing I did make sure I wanted to do in this race was at the start of it do not battle people if you are in that lead group at the front of the race it is so important to use racecraft and to work together because if you drive this race sensibly at a track like this where it's very much slipstream orientated you will find you will pull away from the cars behind as they start battling. I have to stress this so much. It is so important. If you fight like crazy at the front of the grid and you battle away when you're in the top four positions, all you are going to do is you are going to give the cars behind you the chance to catch you up and then you're possibly going to lose more positions as you get more drivers that are fighting for positions. You've got more chances of picking up penalties. And yet, yeah, if you use common sense in these type of races, just drive it sensibly for the first half of the race yes i know you want to win the race but you also want to make sure that you get to the end in as good a position as possible and at the moment you can see what i'm doing here is every time i'm getting close to theo i'm going to give him a little bump draft i'm not going to battle him because i know if i start overtaking him i lose the slipstream and then we got you know we're going to end up losing time and then we have the high on there we have an audi tt behind us as well which at the start of the race is extremely fast it's very hard to stop that car overtaking you it has had BOP changes but trust me on a straight line that Audi TT is still very very fast so you do not want that car behind you especially if you start battling so at the moment I'm trying to keep it smooth another thing I'm trying to do is you'll notice I'm being very cautious through the corners on throttle and braking a little bit earlier because I'm trying to keep my tires in as good a shape as possible because I know that the last three or four laps Judging by the first two races I did in this earlier in the day, the first two or three laps, the, the, the start of the race tends to be quite quiet. It's where it all kicks off, it is at the end of the race. So you might have seen behind us, if you looked in the mirror, I think Matty um, made up a little bit of a mistake there. If you rewind back, you'll see Matty just completely missing his brakes and going straight on into the braking zone. Um, unfortunate for him. But yeah, so far it's going quite well. Um, it looks like the top four are driving this quite sensibly. You'll see. Theo obviously doing a great job in P1, keeping it nice and smooth. We made a little mistake coming out of that corner there. You can see, look at the Hyundai catching on the uphill section. So I can see him having a look, but I can see that he's not going to go for that. He's actually driving this quite sensibly. Um, and this is good to know. If you know that a driver is not going to do anything silly behind you, it installs confidence into your driving, which makes you think, right, okay, we can just concentrate on taking our lines. 
We might have to go a little bit defensive every now and then just to make sure you can see again. He's looking up there. We're going to think about going a little bit defensive here. So we just put the car in a kind of defensive position. And again, yeah, he's not going to do anything silly. He's just, he's having a look, which is all fair. I would probably do the same, maybe, if I was in P3. But what he's not doing is he's, he's not compromising our pace because we've still got slipstream. We're still all gaining. And he's not just lunging it up the inside, throwing a dive up the inside, risking penalties, because the penalty system is on now on GT Sport. And I have to say, I've seen some people complaining about this penalty system, but all I'm seeing is quite good results, as you can see now. Look at this, what's happening on the track map. You can see that gap developing between P4 and 5. And this is because we're not battling at the front. As you see, the Audi DT actually goes for a move on him. But this is going to lose them time. You're going to see what I'm talking about straight away. Because they've just done that, they've almost given the slipstream back to P5, I think it is. And unfortunately for me, I made a mistake on that corner. If I didn't make that mistake, we possibly could have broke away from the slipstream here. But I made a little error there. And that's kept the slipstream to the Hyundai. So I was quite frustrated with myself for that one little error when it was so important not to make. But yeah, it's if you just look at the track map, you can now see the gap. It's got a lot closer. So yeah, keep it sensible on them early laps in a race. If you do that when you're at the front, if you work together kind of for the early stint, you will see such an improvement in how you pull away from the car. So now we skip ahead to lap seven. We're still bump drafting Theo there. You can see pushing him along, looking after the tires. Fuel is no issue. You can see I put the fuel on just to make sure. Um, as you can see, when you're in the slipstream, another point to remember is when you're in a slipstream, you use less fuel. So if you have got you know the advantage, if you're in a car that's not very good on fuel or you might have to fuel save, Get in that slipstream, and even if you drive it pretty much flat out, you'll find that you just save more fuel. It just runs better with not being in the slipstream. I'm um, sorry, with being in the slipstream, you just use less fuel in general. So, yeah, always a good little bit of advice is if you are struggling with fuel, sit in that slipstream, save some fuel, save it for the end of the race, and then you can push a lot more towards the end. Also, you save tyres. For some reason on GT Sport, sitting in the slipstream seems to help your tyres. Um, it's possibly because you're not overdriving the car, you're driving a bit smoother, but I don't think it's realistic in a way. I think really, in reality, in a slipstream, you should be using up your tyres more because you've got no, you've got the dirty air. With no dirty air, you should really be looking after them better. So we take a look at that amazingly gorgeous replays on GT Sport. I do love them. Um, it looks so insane every time I watch these replays on the replay camera. I do really enjoy watching these as we work our way through that. Very tricky corner. The Cayman was actually really strong on the first um, few corners which actually helped it get away a little bit of a gap on the um, straight which is all where the this is the weakest section for the Cayman now um, even with a slipstream the Hyundai on the uphill section caught 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 up and then as soon as we got the downhill section the Cayman's actually really strong for the, it, it seems to just suddenly kick in with the gearing of the Cayman because the Cayman's got really long gears so on downhill section strong uphill oh it was a struggle you can see it now um, it just struggles to get up these hills hills on this track and uh, yeah you can see the Hyundai getting so close behind me we might have to go defensive here. you can see yeah I knew I had to go defensive going to the right hand side of the track he's gonna have another little look he maybe thought I was gonna go back to the racing line but nope I was keeping that defensive line I know that if I take a defensive line and just be really smooth through these corners we're still gonna hold on to the slipstream to P1 and we can hold on to this position at this stage of race so everything's going okay you can see that the track map we've actually got quite a nice gap however what I can see is that PCM, who is incredibly fast around this track, has actually managed to break away from that other group. You can see it there. Look on the track map. We've got quite a big gap, but he's on his own there. And he's in the Alpha, which has been BOP'd slightly better now. So it might not be insanely fast on the straights, but it's back to being how it used to be. Good on tyres, better in race conditions. So I was a little bit worried about him because I know how good he is at this track. And I know that his car will be very strong at the end of the race. So yeah. The race so far is going really well. We're in P2 at my, not my favorite track, we'll just say. It's not one of my favorites, it never will be. But going quite well as we skip ahead now to lap 11 out of 18. So we're coming towards the, you know, the, the, you know two thirds of the way through the, the race and we're still looking quite good. We're in P2, P1's driving well. We're all working well and we've actually built up quite a big gap now. So. The only problem I was a bit worried about was the gap to P5 with PCM. PCM is nearly in that slipstream. That is quite worrying. The only good thing is really we've got an Audi TT there, which the Alpha is going to struggle to get near in the braking zones because obviously that um, Audi TT has got incredible acceleration and it 
it's very hard as we are going to have to go a little bit defensive here um, however he goes for the move he kind of pulls a little bit of a fake on us we're going to have to try and take the outside line he does squeeze us a little bit onto the gravel but we manage to stay half on the track half on the gravel it's a hard corner to give space on there it's a difficult corner to get that move done without you know pushing someone off so respect he did try and give us a space it did cost us a little bit but yeah the Audi TT isn't going to go for a move here so now what I've got to do is try and get back into a rhythm stay with p2 hopefully we're not all going to start being a bit crazy and you know making you know daft moves but that was a fair move he, he did it well um it was quite early to go for a move but i don't blame him he wants to get to the front and wants to win this race and now we're just praying we can hold on and um we, you know we don't want to battle too much because we don't want that closing field to gain on us on the last few laps what we want to do is drive it sensibly so still just trying to get back into a rhythm and now i'm going to use p2 slipstream to save my tires for a bit because the laps that are going to matter are going to be the final two or three laps because that is where it's probably going to all start kicking off like the final three or four laps etc when people want to be at the front um towards the end and obviously with my tire saving that i've been doing i'm quite surprised because i'm not very good on tires um, in general I'm pretty bad and we're doing quite a good job in this race partially helped by being in the slipstream and just really breaking early coasting a lot being cautious we we're actually using our rears up a little bit more on the front which isn't going to be that much of a problem it's probably this corner that was causing it because i was going down to second gear and letting the car rotate through there on second gear and then getting up into third gear and trying to get a strong exit etc but um yeah driving really well we've got the aldi tt behind us at the moment um having to keep our eye on the mirror while looking ahead at the slipstream obviously with that Audi TT but again he seems to be starting to struggle um, obviously the FF car starting to struggle a bit with the front tyres also noticed the Hyundai as well seem to be getting a little bit slower through some of these corners you can see the Porsche though my Cayman almost felt like it was on fresh rubber still and with the fuel going down the Cayman seems to be coming to life a bit it definitely seems to be getting a bit stronger towards the end of the race as it's getting lighter and you can see that Hyundai there not really carrying the maximum speed through that corner but yeah at this point of the race it's all going okay as P2 I'm, I'm having a look at him but we're not going to go for a move there I'm having to be kind of defensive while aggressive because I need to make sure that the Audi isn't going to send one so we're kind of going for like a half defensive half looking at the gap um, whether we go for a move but we're not going to send it we're just going to try and prevent losing a place to p4 with that audi behind us but you can see the gap that develops out of them corners there where it's all about traction on the front end um for him and he's just limited by the tire wear um, so we're getting that gap up so we're safe should be safe going into the braking zone and you can see that out the hyundai just pulls away on the uphill section even though we've got slipstream he just pulls away again up here you'll see what i'm talking about onto the power we get a good exit but again you can see on the uphill section the cayman just really doesn't have the grunt but yeah the cayman overall was still a solid car at this track i have to say it was definitely good enough to get good points here um, as you can tell we're driving well we're keeping smooth this is where i think the cayman was really good as p2 goes for a really nice move I have to say perfectly executed wasn't sure he was going to go for it but he did it and we've not lost too much time with that move he's done it really well the pr1 driver from p p3 to p1 He's done a great job in this race. And now we're back behind Theo. Um, but we've got this Audi that's very close to me behind. It is worrying when you you, know, you don't want to be going backwards all the time. So I really wanted to be back up to P2 if possible. You can see I had a little look there. We're at the stage of the race now. The last few laps where we can start thinking about battling. You know, last four or five laps. We obviously, I want to get the win in this race. Um, at this stage, at the start of the race, I would have took anything 300 points because... Yeah, you know, without doing too much practice on this wasn't you know wasn't expected too much but now that we're in the position of seeing that p1 the motivation to get the win is there 100 but we are keeping an eye on that alfa romeo behind us we can see him creeping up in the mirror every now and then i keep seeing his car just popping up in that mirror and it is quite worrying because you know how good that car will be at the end and we also know pcm is a very fast driver but yeah into the braking zone downshift into second gear trying to get that strong exit speed at all times with the um, cayman on this corner because i know this is where its weakest part of the track is on this uphill section and the audi tt is going to be extremely strong what you're going to see is the audi tt seems to struggle a little bit through its right hand corner now you can see it's washing away on the front end a bit where it's obviously front wheel drive so yeah he's starting to struggle with the grip on the front tires um, but we look in that mirror and you can see now look how close the alpha is behind us 
he is actually getting extremely close and he's actually in the slipstream now so this is now a five-way battle for the win of this race it's getting all quite close quite heated we're getting very close to the front group and i can also see that audi is so close behind me and um, we get a really nice run out the exit so i'm gonna have to go to the left here because if i bump draft the cayman the audi is probably going to go for a move with me as i lose a bit of speed but he just gains 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 so i go to the left we're going to send one up the inside we break really late manage to slow the car down we tag p1 ever so slightly there have to say that we were lucky to not get a penalty but i think it was only a grab what i'm finding is tiny contact if the car in front doesn't lose a place or doesn't really lose much time which he hasn't there you can see we've actually um, pulled away from the group behind us the audi managed to go for a move on the Cayman. so unfortunately for theo he lost another position there because the audi managed to do actually a really tactical move he did quite a good job in what he did we actually watched it live and so he just crept his front end up got his car into the inside line and did a great move so now we're going to try and work with the hyundai because yeah like i said we tagged him but we didn't lose in pace and i'm finding that if you if you drive with trying to drive it without giving too much contact with other drivers the penalty system's working tiny contact like that doesn't seem to be given penalties if you don't gain a position from it if you do that contact and then end up overtaking the car then you're likely going to get a penalty so bear this in mind if you hit a car on your on like an overtake and it looks like it upsets them a bit and you get the move done it's possible you're going to get a penalty so don't be surprised when you do get that penalty um, but if you do that and you don't really gain anything and he doesn't lose time in general you're probably not going to get a penalty not 100% of the time I'm not going to say it's going to work every time but yeah I think the current system now is the best it's ever been I know that you're going to get penalties in lower lobbies but um, you can still avoid them in lower lobbies it, you've just got to get used to this system wait for the dirty drivers to keep getting them DR resets and they're going to end up in lower lobbies and you're going to find that the penalty system's going to be a good thing for the game I think for me personally I think it's at its best it's ever been and I like it at the moment you punish for dirty moves you can race hard you can race aggressive without getting penalties and I'm absolutely I'm really loving Gran Turismo at the moment I have to say I said it yesterday I, I'm coming off these streams so happy because I feel like it's it's the way it used to be in 2018 when I first started playing this game and that for me is really good as we go have a little look again no we're not going to go for move on this lap you can see i'm having to be very tactical now because we've got the high on die in front of us i know he's fast on the straights and he seems very strong on the uphill section you can see even though i'm in a slipstream with the cayman i don't seem to be gaining that much time on him it seems to be um i'm actually losing a bit in some sections of the uphill section and now we've got the audi behind us but yeah he loses a bit on the zones with that front wheel drive car so yeah tactical again we know that the the lap we need to be on the lead is the last lap you know going towards the end of the last lap if preferable we don't want to be on the lead the lead on lap 17 because then we're going to open up piece of, um, the high on day for going for a move on us so yeah tactical drive at the moment looking after them front tires keeping it smooth trying to make sure we don't make any errors in this race and yeah and we're still driving extremely well I, I was actually so surprised that we were still in this position i was proper in fia mode where i i kind of zoned in a bit and um, driving really smooth that is one thing i find when i get in the zone i tend to drive smoother and it really does help with my tire saving with my overall pace as we see theo gets back up to p3 i was really glad to see theo getting back up to free p3 deserved that he drove such a great first stint um, and now we're getting the slipstream from the high on day there you can see getting very very close as we work our way through that fast section we've got a bit of a gap to feel and it's quite good actually that we've got fewer behind him. we see the audi is dropping off now that audi tt has started to drop off with the tire wear and the alpha is now behind Theo. so yeah the alpha down in p4 but again it doesn't have that top speed so while the cayman's got the slipstream the alpha is going to find it hard to get past him but we've got that slipstream to the hyundai we've got a comfortable gap to Theo as well so this is looking good we're on lap 17 i'm not going to go for a move on this lap we could have gone for a move into the hairpin just then but i decided against it because i don't want to be in the lead now we need to time this overtake to perfection if we're going to go for the move it's got to be done at the right time at the right place and we've got to be able to hold on to that position so it's going to be very difficult because most of the overtaking opportunities into that hairpin with the cayman i find that you're then into the weakest zone for the cayman so we're going to have to nail this if we're going to go for it as we come to the final lap now the tension's building up. I was getting extremely tense on this last lap. I have to say, you know, it might only be 368 points we're fighting for, but it's still a win in an, an FIA lobby. And I always want to win these races if it's possible. And sometimes it's just not possible because I don't have the pace. Um, but somehow at this track, 
I seem to have quite good race pace as we again nail that corner there using the forward for the track and this is where we had to get it right this is the most important corner there I've managed to do it well we've got close enough to the Hyundai to think about going for a move now into the hairpin but I'm gonna have to do this kind of I've got to do this tactically because we don't want him to think that I'm gonna send it up the inside so what I do here is I stay to the left stay into the left don't want to give him any um, you know defensive line last minute pop out of the slipstream dock up the inside down to second gear almost drifting and rotating the car in second gear flooring it now in third gear. we've managed to pull off an absolutely amazing move on the final lap of this FIA race as we go through to the final course but it is not done yet we've still got the Hyundai on our right we're gonna to have to take a wide line to give him the space but the Hyundai seems to be struggling on the front end grip you can see doesn't seem to be able to take full speed through them we just about managed to keep the car ahead of him into that braking zone and we've made the move stick on the final lap this has been one of the best moves i've done in an fia race especially with it being under pressure on the final lap and now we've just got one more corner to do which i have to say i took this ultra cautious because i know that as long as i take it reasonable we're going to probably come away with the win you can see that just taking it nice and smooth taking using the full width now over to the left hand side we're going to take the checkered flag and we take the win in this split two FIA manufacturers race and yeah what a race I really enjoyed that let's take another look at that move as we work down into the banked corner you can see stay to the left and then we just jinked out at the last moment into the braking zone you can see the rotation from this camera angle on the rear of the car you could just see it rotating through the corner that was done I have to say that was probably one of the best moves I've done it might not have looked amazing but to do that and rotate it in and give him the space as well and come away with the, the position in the Cayman which struggled up that hill. I was so happy with that race and to get the win in this lobby at a track that I do not particularly like. I absolutely love this race. One of my favorite in a long time. So if you did enjoy this race, please do hit that subscription button and the like button because it does help the channel out massively. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And as you can see there, we take the victory with the Cayman and for Porsche and a really nice amount of points to leave this with so yeah 368 points um nice points there that puts us right up there i think we're in p3 or 4 now um in the manufacturers we're not going to win Josetti's driving the porsche so you know if we can get a top five position for porsche i'll be very happy but yeah thank you all for watching make sure you subscribe hit that like button and i'll see you again for more videos in the future bye everyone